Hello everyone, this is Osuk, and today I'll be listening to, um, watching Metal Drummer Hears Led Zeppelin for the first time. Uh, this is uh, 66 or 66 Samus, however you say it. Uh, I've seen a couple of his videos, and uh, you know, he seems like a fun guy. Um, you know, his humor is not always for me, but you know, that's how it is. But um, yeah, from what I've seen, he's a, he's a, he's a good drummer. Definitely compared to me. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it. So, for anyone who doesn't know, on YouTube, you're 66 Samus. What are you known for playing? What's your wheelhouse? And what totally scares the living daylights out of you? I'm used to doing the metal stuff, of course. You know, double bass and blast beats. What scares me? Odd time. I have never played double bass in my life. I wonder what it was like. Time signatures. You had to throw some odd times in there, huh? The rules for this challenge are we're gonna give you a song you've never heard before, we're gonna take the drums out so you can come up with any drum part you want, and then at the end of the video we'll play you the original song with the drums in, and you'll see how creative you got or how close to the original you got. Cool. Okay, before we move on, I did forget to mention that um, I have watched his video of like the behind the scenes stuff he did at Drumeo. Which, like, um, he heavily hinted that he was going to do this here's for the first time, you know, without actually saying, you know, wink, wink, all that stuff. <laughs> uh, but, like, uh, yeah, like, um, I forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> but, yeah, I have seen that. So, um, I did see in the comments of that video that, like, uh, like, someone mentioning that he started out like reacting to Dromeo videos and now he's on Dromeo. So, you know, that's cool. <laughs> that's where I was going. I just forgot. <laughs> cool. I'm probably going to have to buy you guys a new drum stool after this because I'm so nervous that my crack is just sweating into it <laughs> like crazy. So, well, it's going to get worse. So uh, that's what I meant by his humor. <laughs> Let's see what you got. All right, man. It doesn't sound familiar yet. I don't think I know this. It's pretty funky. All right, so already he's noodling. So that's that's cool. Like I like I like when drummers do that because you know, like um well, different drummers do different things. Some drummers they like to listen to the whole song. While other drummers, like, you know, Chad Smith just likes to play pretty much immediately after listening to, like, just a bit of the song. And then others, like, um, they'll listen. They'll listen for the most part. And then, like, at certain points in the song, they'll noodle on their first listen through and then, you know, go back to listening. So, you know, every process is different. Can I guess what song this is or not yet? Do you? you can guess what it is. Cause I know there's there's I know names of songs that I just I know I never listened to. Is this Zeppelin? Mm -hmm. what a fun to have. Yeah, I don't I don't know this song though. Is it Over the Hills and Far Away? Nope. No? Okay. Nope. Um yeah, I don't even know then. So you guessed it was Zeppelin, I assume because of Robert Plant's vocals. Yep, exactly. You wouldn't get that. Yeah, yeah. Um but this song you See, I wouldn't if 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 Led Zeppelin wasn't in the title, I wouldn't have gotten that. <laughs> but it is a title, so I did get it. <laughs> Clearly, I've never heard the original drum part. No. For your uh, knowledge, this is one of the Mount Rushmore drum recordings from John Bonham. Oh, no. <clears throat> okay. There are some things that jumped out at you that you notice just after a first listen. Just trying to get a feel for the guitar accents and where to put some fills and crashes and stuff. I was kind of throwing in the uh, the rush beat a little there on the ride, like kind of getting a feel for that. That, that kind of sounded like that would work for some of the parts. Oh! I don't think I could really do a blast beat on this one. It might not be fast enough. It would have to be like a... 
it would be like a, a half a blast beat. <laughs> uh, why am I like this? So when you're learning music, like what's your process? I guess that depends on how fast I need to learn a song. If I have the time, I'll listen to it as many times as I possibly can. Sorry about that. If I'm on had a, a tight phone call. schedule, I'll usually record myself a little audio cheat sheet. I'll grab, I'll grab a vocal microphone, and I'll kind of plan out, you know, four measures before I want to do something. I'll speak it in the microphone, whether it's a -a 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 -a, or like some kind of fill, or be like, do a blast beat, something like that. Yeah. You know, that's that's kind of my best way, rather than reading a chart, than just like an audio cue for myself. Okay, that's cool. So he vocal, he likes to vocalize, um, the part. Like first you'll envision the part, then vocalize it, and then and then like play. That's that's cool. Like um I, I know people who do that. Um like Yeah, that's cool. Like um I don't really do that, but I know I know a lot of people do that. <laughs> we um we didn't give you an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, what you're going to do right now is basically just create your own like, like cue track, basically. Exactly, like an audio cheat sheet, I call yeah. it. Hopefully this works. I don't know if you guys have had somebody do it like this before. Start me right after I said the first one. I feel bad this might take longer than usual with these things. You don't have to record yet. I just want oh. just just play it, and then I'll tell you when to stop and like when I want to punch something in there. Yeah, cool. Got it. And back to the verse. And back to the verse. Keep it going. Here comes the verse. Let's see what we got here. All right. So I'll give my. I need to give myself a warning for. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I got one. Okay. So he's clearly a visual, visual audio type of learner, particularly audio. So like, all right, that's that's cool. Like, um, I get that. I'm, I'm a similar type of learner myself. So you know. That's cool. Hear it again, actually. Click speeds up a little bit there. I guess they recorded this without a click, yeah, huh? Yeah, they probably did. I say I'm a similar type of learner, but like, um, but also like, I don't do all that because I'm lazy. <laughs> all right, let's give myself a little warning there to keep going. After this break, it goes to the verse again. Same verse beat. Yeah, just play it for now. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to give myself a cue for that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> uh, whatever. That uh, should be okay. <laughs> Does it usually take this long, Brandon? I'm sorry. You're good to go. <sighs> I'm going to see you nail this on the first take. I hope so. That's the point of the, the cheat sheets. <laughs> Keep going with this first beat. All right, man. How did that whole part of the session go, putting that together? That was fun, lots of fun. So hopefully my audio cues will be good enough to where I can get through it without crap my pants. Cool, man. So we've got the track loaded up. Uh, do you want to give this a, a first run through and see how it goes? I'm going to treat it as my final take. So I like your style. Okay, All right, let's nice. give it the try. I like the audio cheat sheet. That that's cool. Maybe I should start doing that. <laughs> I love this calling it take one so, even though it, it said that it's his first and final take. <laughs>
I do really like that they're including the audio cheat sheet in this. It's like it, they're they're showing you even more of the process of these drummers as they continue to make more of these um, you know videos, and I think that's really cool because you know at first it was just uh, the performances of the drummers with like a little bit of a blurb of how do they do things, but now they're going more in depth to it, and you know that's good because we get to see into the minds of their get to see into the minds of the drummers and um, the other musicians who who do this challenge and you know it's cool it's cool i like that um yeah back to the verse have a lot of cameras to do this. I don't know why that just popped into my head. <laughs> for nice. Yeah, he, he's starting to feel it more. He's starting to feel it more. Uh, he was very in his head earlier on, I feel like. Now it seems like he's more hitting his stride. Because, like, he's getting more used to the song, which which is obvious. Because, I mean, this is first and only take. So, like, you know, he's not going to get it right away. Here comes the slowdown. Three, four. Nice. That little halftime section was really cool. I mean, I'm, mm, should I really call it halftime there? Yeah, that's what we'll go with. time signature change there i mean the only reason i'm saying that is because he said here comes the odd part <laughs> so I, i'm guessing there was a time signature change there but you know y'all know me i'm a basic musician <laughs> I mean, can't even really call myself a musician really i'm a dabbler last one then to the rush beat one two three four Hmm.
I could not do what he does with that hair. I will be splitting up a storm. <laughs> like, woof. Like, woof. Like, I, I will be burning up with that hair. Magnificent beard, though. <laughs> Some octobons in there. Do another crash. Nice. Another crash. For those of you drummers who always want to just do a beat and you know fills and stuff, you don't always have to do that. This kind of stuff right here is very tasteful. Like the cymbal work and you know all that kind of stuff. Like it doesn't always have to be so filled with filled with um you know with sound and noise. You can you can fill it with other types of sound like this. Or even silence.
Dude, you are a legend. <laughs> no. Very, very nice, very nice, very nice. Like, like I gotta say, man. <laughs> Ooh. I'll be so tired <laughs> if I was playing all that. Like, I could never be a metal drummer because, like, um, trying to get through a concert of that? Oh, no, 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 no. I'll be dead. I'd be dead after one song, <laughs> let alone an entire concert. Like, uh-uh. Nope. Nope. I did want to be like a... I didn't want to be a rock star at one point. So that that was that's a little different. But, you know, like, I can never do metal. No. No, no, no. I realize Led Zeppelin is not a metal group. But I'm, I'm saying metal because of, you know, Samus' style. And, you know, that's the style he was playing here. So, you know. Anyways. Oh, no way. That, that was, was, uh, that, that was, was insane. Uh, you well, did that on the first take. Well, I prepared for it with, you know, cues, but that was... I mean, it's, it seems like he... Like, he listened to the different parts a lot, I would assume. Uh, there, there's obviously a lot of stuff that happened, you know, off camera. And I assumed he, he listened to the song a few times, like, all together. Like, maybe not all at once. But like, you know, he listened to the, he probably listened to the, each of the different parts, like multiple times. And, you know, then put together that audio cheat sheet because of that. Which, you know, I wouldn't even call it an audio cheat sheet. I would just call it, you know, like, um, friendly reminders to yourself. Because I mean, like, that's how we think anyways, during a performance. Where, like, um, that's how musicians think during a performance anyways. It's just not getting vocalized to you like that. Like, um, you hear it in your own head, but, like, you know, no one else is hearing it. So, like, um, we're getting, like, in that thought process for um, how musicians think. But, you know, like, obviously that was pre-recorded and stuff. You know, I don't even pay attention to me right now. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. You could say that was pretty good. <laughs> They always say it wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. <laughs> they never say they crushed it. Like Chad Smith said that in the the 30 seconds to Mars one, but he was joking. <laughs> he was joking. Even though he was right. <laughs> Thank you so nice much. Nice work, man. man. You don't know the name of the song. No, I, I I guessed it was uh over, over, the, over the hills, but yeah, I guess yeah, that's not that song. This I already is forgot Achilles the name. Achilles Last Stand. Right. I've heard Achilles that name Last before, Stand. but yeah, I I guess I just never opened the song. I just so this is from the second last Zeppelin studio album, Presence. Uh, of course, okay. John Bonham on drums. Oh yeah. The, uh, the Absolutely one crushing only. it. He of course played this on his single kick, the 26 inch bass drum. <laughs> and for any drummer out there who has tried playing this song, like the doubles on a 26 inch bass drum, I don't know how Bonham did it. Like it's so hard to do. <laughs> no, I don't know how he did. <laughs> cool. So. We're gonna load up the original uh, with John Bonham's drum part in there, uh, and you can get a vibe for what he did in 1975. They recorded this. Wow. Dang, 75. That is a good, good while ago. Um, was that like nine years before I was born? Jeez. too far off with the verse beats. Mm. Oh, I love those fills. Oh, Ooh. that was nasty. Oh, he slows it down. Wow. Ooh. Very nice. All right. Hi, uh, fellas. And ladies. That makes sense. Ah, more hits. Oh. Mm. 
Ooh, half time. Nice. Let's see what he does here. Maybe Octobons? So no crashes here, okay. Oh, maybe that was it. Mm -hmm. The hardest thing for a musician to do. Well, not all mus musicians. I, I should say like, mm, yeah, like, like say if you're in an orchestra, they know when to shut up. <laughs> in fact, you know, if they don't know, know what they're doing, they just don't play. <laughs> Man, what a song. It's an epic. How have I never heard that before? <laughs> I feel like I could cry listening to that song. It's so good. I still think the original is song. missing the, uh, the electronic octobons. <laughs> Get some octobons in there. So what do you think? That was so much fun. I'm, I'm, I'm very glad that you guys could have thrown something way harder at me with, with like more odd times and crazy shit. I'm, I'm, that was... Uh. Imagine if they gave him like Dream Theater or something. <laughs> By the way, that Mike, Port, the, the Mike Portnoy one when he did uh, Nickelback, that was dope. Wow. So, Samus, in your, uh, in your experience, you filmed lots of YouTube videos in your career. How did this one compare to uh, some of the other challenging videos that you've done? Do you do this type of thing often? Was this harder or easier than you expected? Well, I don't do this kind of stuff very often where I just, you know, obviously listen to a song without the drums and kind of put my own creativity on it. There's, there's some times where I'll, I already know a song that has the drums in it, I'll remove it and just put blast beats on it just because it's yeah. funny. But uh, yeah, nothing like this before. This was a real, uh, a real good challenge for the brain and just trying to see, you know, not uh -huh. necessarily what John would have played, but I was just trying to, you know, play beats that I thought, you know, didn't sound horrible with uh, with the music that was happening. I hope this is what Bonham does, because I'm going to feel like an idiot if I'm playing the same beat for all this. <laughs> Obviously, John recorded this in 75, but yeah. cool to hear how even the rhythmic ideas that you were pulling out on your version, like the galloping bass drum. I love the gallop on the guitar or bass, whatever's doing that. Tuka, tuka, tuka. So good. It's still, like, in line with like the rhythmic style that he was going after. Right, right. Um, yeah, that uh, that foundation goes a long way and it's it's uh -huh. still prevalent. So, yeah, man. Well, uh, you <laughs> crushed it. Nice work. Thank you, man. That was that was such a pleasure. Thank you guys so much for having me.